Yes, we can. Can you talk, Hector? Yes, yeah. <laughs> a real life rescue 911 tonight on Action News at 11. Tonight, a world premiere on the CBS Tuesday movie. As a child, she witnessed her family's murder. <laughs> now she's a woman without a past. And you don't remember anything? Too afraid to face the truth. Talk to me! And desperate to rebuild her life. Maybe I did something horrible. One man knows she's out there, and he's got a score to settle. I'm afraid all the time. Melissa Gilbert Brinkman, Jack Scalia, and Michael Gross. Will she remember before the killer returns? I'm ready to find out. With a Vengeance, next. With a Vengeance. Sponsored by Kellogg's. The best to you each morning. did. Sorry. Did you see Valerie at the bus stop? Uh-uh. I don't know why she's so late. Maybe she had practice. No. You want soup or anything? Uh-uh. Maybe she stopped somewhere on the way. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Did, did you see her before you left? No, the boys don't know. I guess she stopped somewhere on the way home. Maybe she told me she'd be late. I, I just don't remember. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'll tell her. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.
Jenna King is honest, reliable, clean, and outstanding cook. Though she keeps to herself as extremely quiet, she has been an important part of our family life for over two years. Evan and Erica will miss her terribly. So what does that mean she uh, keeps to herself? Look, uh, how am I supposed to interview you if you don't say anything? I'm sorry. Will you uh, talk to my son? Yes. Look, just so you know, Philip's had a tough time, and the move out here has made it even tougher. I need the right person. It's a real pain sometimes, but I go out of town on short notice. Justice Department sends me all over the place. It won't be a problem. You went to high school in Georgia? Is that where you grew up? Georgia, Maryland, Kentucky. My father's army. Really? Didn't go to college? Well, we were being transferred again, and it would have been a real struggle for my parents because I would have needed out-of-state tuition. And I kind of wanted to be on my own, meeting people, traveling. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite work out that way. Yes, it did. I like what I'm doing. So where are they now? Who? Your family. Oh, uh, Arizona. He's a captain, quartermaster corps. Spent much time there? I mean, like weekends, holidays... Arizona, it's pretty cheap to fly there. Uh, some, but uh, my mom's in a choir. It goes on the road a lot. Mrs. Callan said you never got a phone call. I'm a good nanny, Mr. Barsetti. Chetty. Like in uh, chicken soup. Or chipino. Right. <laughs> I, I can get you more references. It won't be necessary. They don't get much better than these. I have a feeling you live up to them. I said lobster. We got lobster. We got tossed salad. We got baked potato. Philip, move your butt. How was your day? Done. Huh. Well, say hello to Jenna. I just hired her. Well, speak, boy, speak. Hello. Hi. I, uh... I forgot to tell him to leave off the onions. Well, one of you two magpies better set the table. He talks a lot, doesn't he? He's bossy as hell, too. Better watch out. We've got the dishes. You do. I could use the help. I don't like to do cleaning. Well, what do you like to do? I was doing it. You need the exercise. No, I don't. Yes, you do. <sighs> Give me a break, okay? We're gonna wash them. You got a dishwasher. I don't use dishwashers. Why are you bugging me? Because you're not having any fun. You think I have fun washing dishes? With me, you could. Bull, I don't even like you. Oh, yes, you do. Who said? I can tell. She's in rehab back east. Oh, she did all kinds of stuff. That's how come I got divorced. I'm sorry. I'm not. 
She would have died if she didn't go. Is she gonna be okay? She's not much anyway. Philip, get the hell in here. Your room's a start. Don't tell him I said that. Try it real hard with her. I won't. Is that it? Here's the beam. Well, or are there any other exits? Uh, just the kindergarten bungalow. You're at the library. They let you come back late like that? They don't let us do anything. How come you look so scared? I wasn't scared. Bull, you should have seen your face. Well, thank you. <laughs> That's very nice. I'm glad she's enjoying it. Well, I do what I can. It's nice to be appreciated. It, it does me good, too. It's, uh... Pretty quiet around here with just the two of us. Well, thanks again. Mm -hmm. A little confidence and a good time. That's what it's all about. See you at the next game. Good night. Frank? How was practice? Fine. Mm. You know, we're supposed to go to the Petersons later. Don, I completely forgot. Can we beg off tonight, Myra? I'm just not in the mood. Okay. So, you want to watch a movie or something? Mm, sure. What do you want to see? You pick. I'll bring the wine. like a whimpering or something. I'm sorry. You want to come in my room? I got a sleeping bag. Okay. Night.
yourself. You miss me? Where are you going? Very funny. <laughs> Whoa, oh, come here. Let her go. She's okay. army bases in Arizona. No Captain King at Fort Huachuca, Quartermaster Corps. No Captain King at Yuma Proving Grounds. No traveling choir. Spencer High School, Fort Benning, Georgia. No Jenna King, never. No out-of-state tuition, nothing. You make up a lot of things when your references are so good. I'm really sorry because you're doing a terrific job here. You managed to reach Philip. I'm grateful for that. Explanations? I wouldn't think it was easy for you to lie. It's not exactly a lie. Oh, you mean you did go to Spencer High School? Different name? What? Talk to me. Please. Talk to me! I don't know where I went to high school. I don't know if I went to high school. I don't know where my family is. I don't know if I have a family. The truth is... I don't even know who I am. So, how does somebody turn up in a San Francisco shelter? One day I wasn't there, the next day I was. Somebody asked me my name. I didn't have an answer. Well, how do you know it was Jenna King? I don't. I made it up. I thought of Billie Jean King. I guess I like tennis. And never till over was a mouthful? How old were you? It was four years ago. They figured I was around 20. They? Police, doctors. Nobody recognized you? A girl named Lauren who lived on the street brought me in and, and she just took off. You mean she just dumped you? Well, oh, she said I'd been with her for a long time and she just couldn't take care of me anymore. She never knew who you were? said I'd never spoken. She'd never heard my voice. And you don't remember her? All I remember is waking up there. It was freezing, and I was dirty, and I was crying. Sorry. Look, it's okay if you don't want me to stay. If I uh, follow up on this, if I call the San Francisco police, are they going to tell me you made this whole shelter thing up too? No. So how are you going to find out who you are? I don't know. I'm trying to do a good job for you. 
I like Philip. And I like my work here, Mr. Barchetti. I like and my I... work here, Mike. And I don't know why you should trust me, but I... I don't know why you should trust me, Mike. Mike. What would be the point of my letting you go? I'd, uh... I'd have to admit I made a mistake in the first place. I hate to admit anything. Finish your tea. Ricky. What do you mean? That's what you called me. Ricky. I'm Philip. I, I know who you are. I guess you made a mistake. Just Ricky. Yeah. You said, Ricky, get in here. Yeah. You okay? I am going to clean up the popcorn. Thank you.
Now look what you made me do. Reminiscent of just over six years ago, when this vacant house was the scene of a mass murder that Turn no that one off, you, has honey. forgotten. I hate to hear that stuff just before I fall asleep. From Hollywood Pictures and Miramax Films. I cannot stand aside and let others die for me. She challenged them to raise their voices in protest. We want the people awake, alive. Did you hear that? To stand up. Yes. And make a difference. You kids are just beautiful. To fight for their freedom. Whoopi Goldberg, Laletti Kamalo, Serafina. People can defeat the armies. Rated PG-13. Now playing in select cities. Starts Friday. She's addicted to her loving husband. To the miracle couple. She didn't know he was addicted to other women. I saw you! You followed me? You bet I did. You're out of your mind! What she did know... Where is he? She meant nothing to me. Is that what began as the ultimate nightmare? I need you. Don't do this, please. ...was becoming reality. Jack, I know you're in there! Open this door! Connie Selica, Kevin Dobson, pushed to the edge of obsession. She can no longer live within a house of secrets and lies. Sunday... With a vengeance, will continue. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry, did I wake you? No. I was thirsty. What's wrong? Nothing. And what's the aspirin for? Just a headache. How bad? Scale of one to ten, it's a twelve. <laughs> Hasn't anybody ever tried to help you? You ever go to see a shrink? In the beginning, when they first found me, the police sent me to a hospital. And? Well, I was tested, and they said that uh, I could have been sick, or maybe drugs affected my brain, or trauma. And you don't remember anything? A little. Like what? You ask a lot of questions. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> like what? I keep a file. I make notes. Show me. Jenna, when are you going to trust somebody? Huh? I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I don't know. Maybe I did something horrible. No. I don't think so. This is it? Um, I was wearing this when I woke up in the shelter. Ballerina watch. Kind of childish. There's no way to trace this. There must be a... Yeah, a million. Yeah. Who's, uh, Dr. Rob? My orthodontist. I had braces. That you remember. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I've seen that in my dreams, and I've pictured it awake. It's a um, porcupine fountain. Porcupine fountain? Yeah, I think so. In the middle of a city. Where are you going? It's uh, 6 o'clock. Well, I have a lot to do before I wake Philip. Mike? Yeah. My head feels better. Good. Hi. Hi. Come early. Yeah. Well, no 
someone's getting pretty industrious. Well, it was either that or a garage sale. <laughs> Scotch and water might persuade me to give you a hand. <laughs> you come cheap. Here. Up you sleepy head, it's your birthday. We got your present. What time is it? Oh, don't worry, Dad made breakfast. He didn't want to wake you up. Don't you want to open it? Hurry up, I gotta go. Like it? Yeah. Hey, fella, come on! Oh, Stuart's picking me up. Happy birthday. If you don't like the color, I'll change it. I, I like the color. If it's real nice. How did you know it was my birthday? December 21st it was on your application. I decided to believe it. Billie Jean King? Jane Fonda. Right. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And they never hear another word. We figure he's raking in about. $2,500 a day. A day? For four years. Two and a half million, less expenses. Jenna, that's only one of his scams. Well, can't you do anything? I'm working on it. I'm getting close. Well, here we are. Oh, it's beautiful. You like? Yeah. Good. How'd you ever find it? I hike. Since I was a kid. In New York? Hey, you're looking at the first Eagle Scout in the Bronx. <laughs> Oh, can I help? No. Today's your day. I, uh... I forgot the thermos. Oh, no, no, you didn't. I put it in the back seat so it wouldn't break. You did? Yeah, I'll go get it. Thanks.
on your back. What's the matter? Nothing. I uh, jogged a little. Why don't you let me do that? You want some coffee? No. No, no, thank you. You know, you probably had a driver's license somewhere. I guess. California takes fingerprints. They didn't find mine. Okay, so it wasn't California. But it's possible you have one. <laughs> Can we skip the questions today, please? think the headaches and the nightmare is going to go away by themselves? Maybe. No chance. Look, I, uh, I talked to a doctor about amnesia. He said the, the mind doesn't work that way. It'll keep torturing you till you pay attention. But I'm afraid of what I'll see. Everybody's afraid of what they'll see if they look too hard. Usually it's not so bad. You know, I, uh, I beat myself up pretty good about Philip's mother. Was it my fault? Did I push too hard? Did I not Philip do the right... Philip said that you did everything that you could. Yeah, well, uh, it took me a long time to believe that. I just couldn't fix it. That's all it was. Trying to save me now instead? I just want you to know you're safe. Now go of whatever it is. I'll be here. Better go pick up Philip, huh? Yeah. Young lady, I detest shopping, but you have made this a pleasure. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, all right. I beg your pardon. It's fine. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Come on, Nicholas.
Merry Christmas. Get closer to it. Lean on it. Can we have a little excitement here? It's Christmas. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> cute, Philip. Very cute. I will stand next to Jenna with the flowers you planted for her. Can I go now? Get over there. But I want to show Stuart my new bike. This time, crack a smile. Yeah, I can crack a smile. <gasps> Don't! You dare. How did I get such a filthy minded kid? I wonder. <laughs> okay, ready? <clears throat> One, two, three. Beautiful. Me. All right, okay, I go get dressed. Wait a minute. Come back here. I love you. Oh, Merry Christmas. Me too. How about some coffee? Oh, we finished it. No problem. Make a fresh pot. Okay, um, in the bag, three of those little cups. Oh, now she wants me to measure it. <laughs> Pass me some more of those crunchy little oatmeal cookies. You mean the crackle note brand cereal? Whatever. Hmm, just like oatmeal cookies to me. Uh, pardon? Hmm, nothing. Bye. Okay, so it does taste like oatmeal cookies. Thank you. But it's a cereal. Oatmeal cookies. Crunchy baked whole grain oats and a touch of brown sugar make Kellogg's crackle note brand taste like oatmeal cookies. But it's a cereal. Chevrolet announces just about the last thing you'd expect from a car company. Lower prices. Believe it or not, this is for real. Chevrolet is lowering the price of every new 1993 Cavalier Coupe, Sedan, Wagon, and Z24 Coupe. No gimmicks or hassles. Just straight talk and lower prices. Surprised? You shouldn't be. What else would you expect from the heartbeat of America? With a vengeance, will continue. Tonight, on Channel 2 Action News at 11, their daring rescues dramatized on tonight's Rescue 911. Now meet the real-life Southland heroes who saved a life. Find out what it takes to do the miraculous on Channel 2 Action News tonight at 11. Has this woman been in the sun too long? Sometimes it gets pretty hot. The jackrabbits has to carry umbrella from bush to bush. Let me smell your breath. On the next, you bet your life. You bet your life tomorrow night at 7.30 on Channel 2. Today in California, 350,000 people improve their inner selves. Three million improve their outer ones. The Karuk Tribe Health Center got a Pacific Bell-centric system and a promise to maintain it at no extra cost for life. Jeff Thompson got his lawn painted. It's just another day in California. Tomorrow will be better. 
are real life. Rescue 911 tonight on Action News at 11. I always save some presents for Christmas dinner. Jeez, Dad. This is the best. This is so great. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Right. Can I be excused? Sure, go ahead. And now, it's your turn. It's your porcupine fountain. It's at the Science Center in Portland. How did you know? I didn't. It took some research. The office uses a detective up there. He's the one that took the photo. Philip has uh, two more weeks of vacation, doesn't he? Yeah, until the 7th. Well, I've asked for some time off. If I can clean up a couple of things, I thought uh, we'd take a trip. Portland. It's only a 10-hour drive. We'll visit Arnold when we get up there. He wants to see what else you've got. Arnold Bell, he took the photo. I, I, I can't go to Oregon, Mike. Why not? It's a good time, Jenna. No, no, it's not. Okay, then when? Can I just think about it? What it was, it was, Jenna. At least you'll know. So, what do you think? Good condition, and the signature's authentic. No kidding. You made a very savvy buy, Mr. Adler. I did? I'd say in L.A. or Chicago, you could see a 25% profit right now. Hey, did I tell you Frank Tanner would know? You told me. You told I me. tell you it was worth it to bring him to Portland? You told me. You told me. Now shut up, Lazanski. Show him the bat. Yeah. Frank. Nice. Very nice. Maybe I should fly you up to Seattle to find some of these for me. <laughs> now, I got a picture of Jolt and Joe and the Splendid Splinter. Uh, I'd like to dig it with you over, Frank.
police? <laughs> Did you tell them you saw me? Come inside, Valerie. <laughs> Where's the uh, medical permission slip I signed for Philip? I have it. How about the uh, food money? Is there any left? Yeah. I want you to uh, take this. What are you doing? We can't go to Portland. They need me in D.C. Today? Carl's coming to pick me up in 20 minutes. I told you sometimes I hate this job. Well, when will you be back? I don't know. But not in time to go to Portland. I feel like hell. I'm really sorry. Well, don't look at me like that, please. Well, you're the one who wanted me to go. We're packed. Look, I said I was sorry. I've been on some bastard's tail for two years. You think I knew it would break now? Yeah, but you're the one who was pushing me. Philip was looking forward to being away forget with Forget it. It's not going to happen, okay? I can't just forget it, Mike. You made this important. I thought that this was important. It is. But I just can't go today, Jenna, okay? That's it. Son of a bitch. Jenna? Jenna? Jenna! Jenna! Go. I don't know, Jenna. 
what it was, it was. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. Well, I'm ready to find out. I used to think that having a chef salad for lunch was a great way to lose weight. Boy, was I wrong. Because in one mouth-watering Ultra Slim Fast Shake, you'll find almost half the calories and 75% less fat. You'll also find more vitamins and minerals and fiber. In fact, it's hard to find another lunch this low in fat and calories with so many of the nutrients that doctors recommend. So an Ultra Slim Fast Shake is more than just great tasting. It's a healthy way to lose weight. If you've discovered there's more to focus on in life than a standard driver's side airbag, <laughs> discover all the safety features available in the all-new 1993 Toyota Corolla. And discover Corolla again. the bridge? Maybe a beaver tin or something? I don't remember any of this. been here, Philip. This was a bus station. You remember it? I'm going to call that detective. Was it night or day? Um, light. It, w it was light. Warm or cold? Were you bundled up? Coats? Umbrellas? I'm not sure, but I, I do get the feeling that we were traveling down when we came here. Down? Like to San Francisco, south? Uh -huh. From the north? Uh-huh. Awful lot of north up there. You get the word, tomorrow I'll start up the five, Olympia, 
Seattle, Tacoma, Vancouver. Um, what about the police? I'll probably talk to a couple of guys I know. You don't need to discuss me with them or anything. I work for you. I am very discreet. Yeah, but what if they ask you what you're doing? I'll know what to say. Why don't you follow me back to the office? I want to take your picture. Then I'll buy you guys lunch. Oh, no, no. Don't turn me down. This may be the only time I pick up the tab. See a movie or something? Yeah. Okay, here. Go get a paper. Get a wheel. You want to see something really weird? Don't you think they look like you? Frank, what are you doing? Organizing. Go back to bed. You can't keep going with no sleep like this. These files are out of control. Frank, it is 3.30 in the morning. What's wrong? I'm fine. I won't be much longer. Please. Silas can see you now. Mr. Bell, what can I do for you? My patients aren't usually involved with uh, private eyes. I'm uh, looking for an orthodontist. Oh, I see. Look. Well, not for me. My teeth are perfect. A, a client of mine remembers being treated by a Dr. Rob a few years back. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with the name. Olympia only has a few orthodontists. I think I know them all. Could have been a first name, nickname the kids use, maybe? Not while I've been practicing. And that since? Twelve years. I'm sorry. Miss Sutton was last seen by neighbors when she left her Capitol Hill apartment on the way to the university. Due to the striking resemblance to the other two murdered women, police have not ruled out the possibility that the killer may be the same man who terrified Seattle residents last year during the Christmas season. Robinson, Robbins, Roberts, anybody who might have used a nickname? No. Well, what about a casual sort of guy who wouldn't mind if his kids called him by his first name? Dr. Rob, right? Right. Short for Robert? You know, I believe that Robert Epling's kids called him that. Over in Bellevue, just across Lake Washington from here. Sweetest guy you'd ever want to meet. His patients call him Dr. Rob. I do believe they did. Thanks, Doc. Making some progress. There was a Dr. Rob up this way. He died two years ago. There was? Robert Ampling. An orthodontist? That's right. He practiced over in Bellevue on 112th Street. Does that mean anything? Jenna? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Anything sound familiar? 
I, I don't know. Well, I'm staying at the Carlton. I'll call you later. Uh, Arnold, um, did you see the, today's paper? What paper? Uh, the journal, the one with the pictures of all the murdered women on the front page. No. What about it? I don't know. I, I just want you to see it. Well, save it for me. I will. Bye. I can't help you, Arnie. Wrong. You don't even know which jurisdiction. She went to a dentist in Bellevue. I doubt she lived far. Well, that could be half a dozen places. You got Kirkland, you got Redmond, Issaquah, Newport. Okay, I want to start here in Bellevue. How many years do you want? 79 to 89. Oh, for crying out loud, Arnie. I... You know Mary Edwards in uh, records? Introduce me. Yeah, I do. This way I won't miss you guys so much. Mike? Yeah? I miss you, too. I'm glad. Hey, Michael. I gotta go. Oh, you want to talk to Philip again? No, uh, why don't you uh, give him a kiss for me? And, uh... I will. Bye. Bye. You like my dad? Yeah. He hasn't ever had a girlfriend or anything since they got divorced. I know. So what do you think? About what? Don't be a bonehead. <laughs> Come on, Jenna. You and him. It would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. That would be good. Doesn't anyone sit down to a good hot breakfast anymore? When I was a boy, we'd gather round the table for some nice warm cream of wheat. People actually talked to each other, discussed plans for the day. Nowadays, everything is rush, rush, rush. So, Grandpa, what's your plan for the day? Why start out with cold cereal when you can have the warmth of cream of wheat in an instant? Now try new cinnamon toast. This is CBS. Lucky. Mom just got me priority ringing from Pacific Bill. Well, she really got it for herself, so she wouldn't have to answer my calls. Mom enters the numbers of just the people she wants to talk to. When she hears that triple ring, she knows it's for her. Probably Aunt Rose. Later, Rose. So if the regular ring's always for me, then I'm the one with the priority ringing, right? Oh, oh, hi, Stephanie. Priority ringing. Order now for free installation. Another new idea from Pacific Bell. I believe she came to disappear. Others say it was a man. 
the monk who would later speak of her face as radiant with volupte. There is no proper translation. Trust me. I trust only my senses. She embraced him forever. A deluxe parfum is your gift with any volupte purchase. Coming up on Nightcast, find out why a man held a maid hostage in an L.A. hotel for nine hours today. A man you've probably seen many times on television. A Riverside man has reason to hope tonight that his POW father is alive in Russia. And grab a pencil and paper and join our telephone poll. Whose family values do you share, Dan Quills or Murphy Brown? Tell me about your client, Mr. Bell. At the moment, I'm afraid I'll have to plead privileged communication. What's his interest? Same answer. Once I've consulted with my client, and if there's something you should know, I'll be back. Well, I'm a pretty privileged kind of guy myself. I just might plead the same thing. Give it a rest, Max. Arnie's been on the job. That's why I'm here. It was a real shame. Nice family like that. Everything red nutcase. Probably loaded up to his eardrums. We're desperate for a fix. The thing stolen from the house meant easy money. Untraceable. Very fensible friendly. How do you know the girl is dead? Nothing concrete. We found traces of her blood in the woods by the house. But you looked for her. The father wouldn't let go. He was in shock. Nobody wanted to say anything out loud. So we kept going. But I could feel it. If he didn't get her there, he got her later. tip her up that something's wrong. Look, I don't know what the flight situation is on. I'm, I'm probably going to have to make a connection. I'll keep her at the hotel. All right, good. Uh, are you leaving Seattle right away? No. I want to go over to the newspaper office, see what else I can find. A couple of other things. All right. All right, I'm out of here, Arnold. Yeah. See you in a while. find anything. No, that's not what I mean. We'll talk about it when I get in. How about your hotel? At noon. Why can't we talk now? Hey, you trusted me this far, didn't you? Am I in trouble? No, no. You're not in trouble. Twelve o'clock. Okay? Okay. Bye.
I think Arnold Bell's coming. Well, let's give him ten more minutes. Just ten more minutes. again, but has Arnold called? No, I know. I'm sure everything's all right. I'm just not very good at patience. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Was he there? Oh, well, what do you want to do? I don't know. I think we should go to Seattle. You didn't reach my dad? No. So what are we going to do in Seattle anyway? I'm not sure. I'm hoping it'll be like the bus station and I'll remember. Sort of a family, aren't we? You, me, and him? Yeah. So let's not go. What? Why do you have to go back? Well, Philip, my whole life could be up there. Yeah, but if it was so good, how come you can't remember? How come you ran away? I don't know. Maybe I didn't even run away. Maybe it's this great family in this wonderful house. You really think that? No. So let's not go, okay? Let's not ever find out. Philip, sometimes a person has to look at what's inside of them and not be afraid of it. And you remember when I first came to your house? Yeah. Well, I barely even talked then. I didn't love anyone. I didn't trust anybody. I do now. But I'm still afraid. I'm afraid all the time. What if you don't want to stay with us? What if you like your brothers better and you never want to come back? I am with you, Philip. And that's not going to change. I promise.
with this. What time was it? Oh, it's been a couple hours ago at least. And she said Seattle, nothing else. I heard her tell the boy Seattle. I was involved in conversation, I'm sorry. All right. Yeah, thanks a lot. Go see him? No, I don't say he died.
house? Stay here. No. Stay here. Sweetheart. I couldn't let her do it, Valerie. Your mother wanted me to go. You know I couldn't leave you. And Ricky and Toby. I loved you too much. I still love you.
Listen to me, Valley, please. I wish things could have been different, but I have no choice. Mother won't let me stay here anymore. Nobody's taking you away. <laughs> Ready? Someone is here to save us, or will he have to destroy us? An all-new Forever Night, later on Crime Time After Prime Time. Thanks for making CBS America's most watched network. Now get ready for your local news. a severely abused child. These children were sent to us for a purpose. No one knew. <coughs> she was capable of murder. She's severely, severely disturbed. She's no different than a serial killer. Well, that's what she could be if we don't help her. <laughs> Mel Harris and Marriott Hartley prove how important it is to protect our children. 
based on a tragic true story, Child of Rage, next Tuesday. This is CBS. After hours of cautious waiting, SWAT team members put an end to the airport hotel siege. We'll look at the Rainbow Man and his motives coming up on Nightcast. Terry Anzer on Channel 2 Action News, weekdays at 6 a.m. Now on Nightcast, was it a play for publicity or a plea for help? The latest on the airport hostage drama. Henry Kissinger answers charges that he knew American POWs were left behind in Vietnam. And the video camera sees all, and the school kids don't like it. Action News Nightcast for Tuesday, September 22nd, 1992. This is Action News for all of Southern California with Bree Walker and Michael Jock. Now, Channel 2 Action News Nightcast. Good evening, everybody, and thanks very much for joining us tonight. Bree has the night off. Here's what's happening. A religious extremist who held police at bay for nine long hours is behind bars tonight. A SWAT team stormed the airport hotel room where he'd been holed up since 9 o'clock this morning. Action News now live on the scene near LAX with our Pat Lalama. Pat? Mike, we have returned to a state of normalcy here at the Hyatt Airport. But why this gospel-preaching uninvited guest would turn this place upside down for nine hours remains a mystery. He says it was his calling. Why you do it? Why you do it? Why you do it? Why you do it? For Jesus Christ, we're living at the end of the age. 47-year-old Roland Stewart says he did it for Jesus. What he did, police say, was work his way up to the seventh floor of the airport Hyatt, post neon biblical messages, hold a terrified housekeeper hostage, smoke enormous amounts of marijuana, light fires, and make threats. The suspect let the negotiators know that if he did not get what he demanded, which according to the negotiators was not agreeable, we couldn't do it, that he was going to start shooting airplanes as they landed and that he would probably injure the hostage. And that's when hostage units decided to make a move. It was a carefully planned strategy. The floor above Stewart was used as the main point of operation. The SWAT team was mobilized on the ground. Fire crews evacuated most of the 600-room hotel. A fiber optics camera was used to try and track Stewart's moves. Traffic around the hotel was diverted, and finally at 5.45, the big move was made. Hostage units had tossed a flash grenade into the room, forcing Stewart out. The ordeal was over. The housekeeper was alive and safe. She was identified by co-workers as Paula Chan, a seven-year employee of the Hyatt. She said her stomach hurt and she did not feel well, mostly from the shock, but police do not believe she was physically harmed by Stewart. Police did find a high-caliber weapon, incendiary devices and chemicals in his room, but Roland Stewart planned to ultimately do with those items is a question for which cops are happy there is no answer. All right, just one point I want to make. Co-workers, many of them tell us that the hostage name is Paula Chan, but the hotel...